Hey guys, welcome to a tutorial. I am going to walk through how to get onto the DSD Discord server and give you some information on what it's about. So what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna just go to the Discord website. Now, Discord is basically a chat service that uh, kind of mimics what goes on in the live stream when you're on a live stream and everyone's talking all at once. Um, but it's persistent and it doesn't go away. Now you can use Discord within your app, like you can see right here, it says open in your browser or you can download an application for it. Plus there's applications for your phone as well. Now, more than likely the way you're gonna get to it, and let me just come over here and I'll just go to uh, my YouTube channel. Now, when it loads, Hi, welcome to Dad's Survival. You'll have, Hi, if, you, if you go to the main page and I'm logged in as I'm not logged in right now. So that's why it's showing this channel trailer that I recently created. But up at the top in my wonderful little logo uh, area up here, there's links to different things. There's links to the website, to my Twitter account, Facebook page, PayPal, and uh, Discord. Now, if you click the Discord link, that's an invite. And what it'll do when you first log in it will ask you who you want to be called so you can set up an account. Now, if you already have an account, now this is where some people get into trouble, is you don't really remember how to get to it, so you go back to this and then you 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 see where it says right here what people should call you and you do it again, where what you really need to do is hit you already have an account. So if you're new, you just, uh, and i tell you what, I'll, I'll just do, um, I'll make a, a new, new user, let's just call it uh, DSD test and we'll say, continue. And it goes through the account creation phase, ask, ask you some things to make sure that uh, you're human and not a computer. Um, so I'm just trying to pick everything that has a street sign in it. Actually, that's not a street sign. And I'll say verify. Uh, select all images with mount. I guess I'm doing this wrong because it keeps, it keeps asking me to, uh, to verify. Now, once you get in, it uh, is asking you to, and this is, this is pro okay, this is prompting it for me because I've already done this, but you would basically put in, you know, new user at, you know, yahoo.com with your password, right? So I'm not gonna do that because I don't wanna screw all my stuff up. And what happens then is, you're in. Now, when you first get into the DSD Discord, is you get dropped into the rules area, which basically, and I'll just cover them now, you know, basically to re be respectful to each other. Everyone is going through their own personal story with a lot of triggers. So do not attack any other member of the DSD community. Now, all of these rules, if you violate those, we will boot you out. Per Discord's term of service, you must be 13 years of age or older to be on the so server if you are found that you are younger than 13, you will be reported for your own safety. And three, all of our stories are very personal and emotional, so please be mindful when you start to get angry about your current situation. And if you need help with the rules, if you have any questions, or if you are being harassed, you can always use mods to get the moderator's attention. Anyway, so that's where, and then when you first get in, it drops you in the rules, and the only channel you have access to is the general channel. And that channel is public. So like right now, even though I'm not really in, if I go into it and I'm just, I'm gonna, I'll blur all this out so people can see it, but there's all these conversations going on. So if you are doing, if you're having a conversation, you don't really wanna do it in the general account. Now, primarily, <clears throat> excuse me, what happens is, is I'm expecting you to be somebody we know and that uh, you know we can get you behind the door. Now, if, uh, if I know who you are and your name matches what, you've already, what you're using on YouTube and you're an active member of that community, it makes it easy for me. I know who you are. If not, DM me. Like for this person, this new user, if they wanted to DM me, all they would have to do is find me right here, click on me, and then say a message. Please add me. You know, I, I found you on YouTube and... I want to be a part of the Discord. The DSD, we'll say we'll do it right, DSD Discord. 
Now, you don't have to say this, but basically it's just letting you know that uh, um, that uh, if, well, that's weird. Okay, so if that doesn't work, which it should have worked, um, so we'll have to check that. The other way you could do it is by doing it in the public forum where you can say, hey, you know, just kind of reply. More than likely because I'm doing a test user, uh, somebody will respond and say, say hello. Oh, and that's right. You have to claim, you have to use a real account to get in first. So let me now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to get out of this and I don't want to delete the account. I want to log, oh, okay, log out. So here, here's the other thing. If you uh, want to do certain things, if you want to mess with your account, you can do that here by clicking the settings. You can change your avatar right here by adding a picture. Um, you know, change, put your email in, create your password. Uh, you can change certain things. You can change your video settings. Um, it does have video chat and audio chat, so you can actually talk one-on-one -on -one in real time with people if you would so like to. Uh, you can change your notifications to where you can tell it to not tell you about what's going on. Um, and you can change your appearance a little bit and change it to light and dark and all those kind of things. So what I'm going to do right now is I'm just going to log out. And then I'm going to log in as me. <clears throat> all right. So now when you get into there, now I have a few other Discord channels that I belong to. But the one for, for this one is DSD. And now you can see as a, as a real user, you will have access to all of these different channels. These are all private and they're all locked. You cannot get into these unless you've been added into, it's a YouTube group that I've, that I've, call, uh, that I've uh, created. And again, anything in general is public. So if I go over here, you'll see that I'm, I've been added. It shows that DSD chest user has been added. And uh, once you're in... And you've been, so like, let's say I was going to add this person. I just go in and I go, uh, where's the role, 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 role is right here at the bottom. I just add, add the role and that lets that user in. So now if you were to log back into that as that person, and I'll delete this user in a few, uh, you would be able to see, see everything. And we, as you can see, we have different channels for different topics. Uh, we got topics for the podcast, uh, just a morning, start your day, a topic for the live shows. Uh, an area just kind of where I use to do announcements and stuff, questions and suggestions, family court, narcissistic abuse, triangulation, hybrid no contact, focus on the kids, grandparents, supporting friends, uh, financial support, dating post-NARC, music and memes, because we were having a lot of memes in there, so it's the place to put that, uh, health and wellness, parallel parenting, survival mode, how to communicate, parental alienation, Facebook Live, since I'm doing Facebook Live, so I put Facebook Live stuff there. Uh, resources and recommendations, and a group voice chat. So you can actually go into this and uh, chat with other people. Now you can see down here, I have my microphone muted and my headphones uh, muted right now. So I'm not going to, my microphone's not going to work and I'm not going to hear anything uh, through the chat if I wanted to do that. So the other thing on here is if you wanted to chat with somebody, um, like, let's say we'll do this test user again. And, uh, if I want, you know, if I wanted to do a, a chat, I could come back over here and say, hello, test user. How are you? Right. And it'll create this, this direct, direct message DM to that other person. Now you can add more people in here if you want to. And I could video with this person if I wanted to. And I could start a voice call if I wanted to. Now, this is really great because if there was somebody that you met on the Ute, on the live show that you did want to connect with, but you weren't really comfortable with giving out your email, please definitely do not give your email out in uh, during a live show. Um, tell people to just you know meet up over here at the Discord. You can connect, and then if I wanted to give, you want to share information or whatever, you can do that, and it's not being captured and broadcast to everybody at the same time. Now, uh, that is uh, the other thing that you can do. If you're in a thing, like let's say you're in a group and you want to say something to somebody. So if I was going to say something to test user, if you do the at symbol and you go DSD test, right? Hello and welcome 
or I'll say, hello, this is a test for the tutorial. I'll just say it that way, right? So what that does is it actually highlights the other person. So if you're logged in, it will show that the other person will see one of these channels light up with a number saying, hey, somebody actually mentioned you. So, you know, hey, you might want to check it out because they're talking to you. Uh, the other thing is if you want to do smileys, you can do it over here and you could just pick something. So if you wanted to do 100% or whatever, you can do that. Now, you also noticed over here, it did this, uh, this 100 within the colon thing. Well, if you put in colon and you go thumb and you start typing something like thumbs up, right? You can pick something. So if I want to do smile, I could pick a smiley and go cat smile. And if I wanted to do a flag, I could pick a flag. I'm not going to pick a flag, but that type of thing, right? So that's how you can do the different little different little things on there. And if I hit enter, it makes it, makes it that. Now, um, the other thing you can do, and you'll notice sometimes people do, you can see over here, you got this little drop down, or not drop down, these things highlight when you get to it. I can, you can put a little, basically a uh, thing for that post. If I wanted to edit it, I can edit that post and said, oh crud, I meant to put a exclamation point at the end and it'll edit it. It shows that it's been edited. And uh, yeah, that, uh, <clears throat> excuse me, that, um, you know, that's kind of the basic way to use this. I, I know it seems a little intimidating. It seems a little odd. Now, the cool part about it is it's off of everything else. It's not it's not on YouTube, it's not on Facebook, it's not in, you know, in Instagram or Twitter. It's basically a separate thing. Now, if you have used Discord before and you're a gamer, well then, you know, you have to be cautious of that. But as you can see, I've created different accounts uh, for, for my main account and a couple of test accounts. So you could create a new account and you don't have to use your name. You can use handles. You can use whatever you want. And as long as I know who you are, or have a good, pretty good idea who you are, uh, we'll let you in and uh, you'll be able to participate. Now, you, the, the, let's see, I'm trying to think of what else would be important to say on this. Um, I already talked a little bit about the chat. So like if you were going to go, and what I'll do is I'll go into the uh, staff chat. So it'll connect. You can see right here it's connected. Now, I don't know if I do this, if it'll, show, if it'll work now because I'm using the microphone already. But if I was on this, I could, you, anybody who's on it, then it's like a group voice chat. And there's a bunch of people that can be on it. So if you're somebody that you want to actually talk to, you can do that. You can do that in the different groups like I, I was showing you. So there is a group voice chat for everybody that's in the YouTube section. And, uh, you know, you can chat that way. And like I said, you also can still do the DM, which is, which is a direct message to the person if you have the right permissions, you can see earlier whenever I, it was messing up, it wasn't it wasn't saying we were on the same same group. But uh, there you go. Um, and there, if you click this button over here, there is a list of everybody that's on, so you can see who's currently on. If uh, you're looking for somebody in particular, plus uh, whenever, let's see, I'm trying to I was going to see if I could. Well, that's how, that's how you see if they're on. And I know this is all going to be blurred because I'm not going to show anybody's names, but which is going to be annoying because this is going to be a big blurry, <laughs> a big blurry mess. But anyway, so that is the, the fundamentals or the, the quick thing of discord. And it's basically like a big chat room and people have conversations. And when someone needs help, you generally, there's, there's a lot of people or you know, there's a handful of people who hang out on this quite a bit that uh, uh, are ready to participate. Um, they leave it in the, on in the background. One thing I do want to add, because I know this has been annoying for some people, if you don't want all the notifications, if you come over to the channel over here, you can mute the server and you can see I've done it. And you can actually tell it to stop making a bunch of noise. You can also do that if you, let me go back. You can also, let me get out of this. Is if you come down here and uh, click user settings, back where I was talking about that before, you can also change things up with your uh, account and safety, um, what you want people to see, who you want to be able to add you as friends, all that kind of stuff, notifications, you can disable notifications, uh, the badges and all that kind of stuff. 
Um, so you can kind of set what sounds you want to go on, what you don't want to happen. So if you want to customize that a little bit, you can do that. And again, you can change all these different, different settings. So I'm not going to log out because I don't need to. Okay, that's pretty much uh, wraps up the quick tutorial for Discord. Hopefully this was helpful. If you have any questions, send me a note. Uh, if you're in Discord, you can always DM me and just play around. Um, you know, we do have channels. So, I mean, there, if you find something that you try to find the particular topic that, that correlates to what you're looking for, uh, but they're not limited to this. All, most of these channels have been created because people on the community have said, Hey, it'd really be great if we had a, a, ch a channel on survival mode or how to communicate or, or, uh, you know, recommended recommendations and resource recommendations and stuff. So, you know, if there's something that we're missing that we need, we can, I can add it and, uh, and just keep it growing. So on that, hopefully this was helpful. Again, if you have any questions, send me a, send me an email, DM me, uh, however you want to get a hold of me. Uh, if you're really having problems, just put a comment on this video and we'll get you sorted out. All right. And that's it. Thanks guys.